In nature, a caterpillar always begins life as a tiny and forgotten thing before blossoming into a vibrant, eye-catching butterfly. The same could be said for social media influencer Chrissy Schlepeka. She went through a metamorphosis of her own, transforming from a college student struggling with her identity into a pink-haired, self-proclaimed bimbo who is currently dominating the TikTok algorithm. As a child, Chrissy grew up hyper-feminine and was often mocked by her classmates for being both outspoken and loud. She once described this experience to Lithium Magazine by telling them, I was never fully taken seriously in school or public group settings. I was always made fun of for being the bimbo girl, the dumb girl. She's got nothing behind those eyes, stuff like that. Other people might not have believed in her, but Chrissy Shebeka has always known that she was destined to entertain. As a youngster trying to find where she fit in the world, she gravitated towards musical theater. But her big break wouldn't come from performing on stage. After realizing she wasn't quite as interested in theater as she thought she was, Chrissy dropped out of college and found herself working three dead-end jobs to pay rent. Then she began her transformation into who she is today with what will become the first of many tattoos. Despite the fact that she'd always been intimidated by needles, Chrissy decided to get her first ink in an attempt to do something meaningful for herself while being trapped in a toxic relationship. Soon after, she stopped denying her queerness to herself. She explained to Logo TV, I just remember sitting on my bed one day and being like, yeah, I'm queer, like that's what it is, and saying it out loud, it was just kind of a weight lifted off my shoulders. Chrissy has since come to realize that there are many fluid layers to her sexuality and gender identity, which means she tries awfully hard not to limit to herself to just one label. That's why she uses both she and they when it comes to her pronouns. Chrissy's older brother Kevin is also queer and started using he, they pronouns with their family before Chrissy did, something that helped pave the way for her in kind. Reflecting on sequence of events, Chrissy told Logo TV, seeing them do it and be so confident and go and pursue their dreams and be who he really is did encourage me and allow me to realize it was okay for me to do that too. Chrissy never directly came out to her family and said she just openly began posting about her life online and knew that they would eventually find it. It took time for her parents to understand, but they've since come to accept their daughter for who she is. Other extended family members, well, they haven't been as kind. Not that that's gonna stop Chrissy from turning the family name into something more famous than it's ever been before. As COVID set in all around the world in early 2020, Chrissy found herself still trapped in an abusive relationship, one in which she had lost any aspect of herself. But after getting her first tattoo scrawled on her body, Chrissy found the necessary courage to end this relationship. After breaking free from her abuser, Chrissy felt the need to shed the skin of her previous life because it no longer felt like her true self. Soon after getting divine feminine tattooed across her ribs, Chrissy began her quest to take over social media. Many years earlier, the first social media page Chrissy ever created for herself was a Webkins account where her username was happy1114. From there, she'd branch out onto much more popular platforms such as Instagram and TikTok, the latter of which is where she's steadily built her audience to where it is today at an astounding 5 million followers. What originally started as a means for her to pass the time during lockdown almost immediately turned into something much more. Not long after her first post, Chrissy went viral for posting a reenactment. Not long after her first post, Chrissy went viral for posting a reenactment of an uncomfortable encounter she had with a stranger at Walgreens. When she checked her TikTok the next morning, she was shocked to discover her video had received more than 500,000 likes. After that, she dove head first into the platform by simply being herself. She's even earned recognition for having a speaking voice with an uncanny resemblance to that of pop star Ariana Grande, something that Chrissy has leaned heavily into by entertaining her fans with impersonations of the singer on a regular basis. Many of Chrissy's videos center around her identity as a member of the LGBTQ community. She's admitted in the past she didn't always have a place where she felt safe enough to be the most authentic version of herself. But with content focused on self-love, bisexual pride, and sexual liberation, Chrissy has now managed to shed the chrysalis of her past and spread her wings further than anyone would have imagined possible. Today, you'll find Chrissy expressing this newfound confidence in her TikTok videos by wearing bold outfits and makeup, which is to say that she's never one to 
shy away from bright colors or patterns. While Chrissy is finally sure of who she is, that isn't to say the rest of the world is always supportive. Like many social media influencers, Chrissy has to contend with trolls and hateful comments, most of which always seem to come from men. The good news is that Chrissy actually enjoys responding, and by doing so in a sarcastic way, it helps her take comments less personally. Most notable of everything Chrissy has accomplished, however, is the bimbofication of TikTok. Chrissy officially introduced a bimbo talk on the platform through a video in which she answered the question, who is the Gen Z bimbo? Her fan base then picked up this idea of bimboism and ran with it, asserting themselves as hyper-feminine, outspoken, and sexually liberated individuals who refuse to be regulated by anyone. Chrissy never referred to herself as a bimbo until her followers began to do so lovingly. Instead of using the term in the derogatory sense that proliferated the early aughts, Chrissy's community of fans have recontextualized the word to establish themselves as an inclusive, queer subculture open to anyone who finds confidence in expressing femininity. And now that she's been dubbed Queen Bimbo, there's no going back. As much of an institution as Chrissy Schlepeka has become on TikTok, she's gearing up for yet another important step in her career by looking to become a pop singer. Chrissy has wanted to be a singer since she was a little girl, but she's never really had a chance to spread her musical wings. Now, she's having the time of her life, writing music like her hit track, I'm So Hot. But don't think for a second that Chrissy is just going to forget about all her fans on TikTok. If anything, she's looking to synergize both careers by having them play off one another. She explained to Inc, my brand as a musician is very similar to the brand I have on TikTok. I just want to be a little pop star party girl and that's the kind of vibe I'm giving. I'm obviously very heavily influenced by Slater as well as Rebecca Black, Lady Gaga, and Ariana Grande. And while Chrissy might be best known for her larger than life personality, flamboyant outfits, and her deep-seated appreciation for boobs, she's more than ready to show her fans how talented she is, sonically speaking. Chrissy is creating this music for her teenage self, the one who struggled with who she really wanted to be. She told Inc. I want my music to reflect back and pay tribute to the girl I was in high school because she really needed a big hug. It's really still in the works, but I guess that's the best way I can describe what I'm doing right now. I think it'll be really relatable to a lot of people who've had to find themselves all by themselves. In the meantime, she will continue to share her meaningful real life experiences with her millions of followers so that they can navigate themselves through similar situations. All right, everyone, that's gonna bring us to the end of this before and after about Chrissy's transformation from a closeted bisexual teen to the TikTok bimbo she is today. Before you head out, consider answering the following question. What's one derogatory word from the past that you'd repurpose into something more ethically and socially meaningful? I never thought I'd see bimbo reinvented as something positive, but I'll take it. Give me some even better ideas in the comments below. Otherwise, like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications to make sure you never miss an episode. My name is Kara, and before signing off, why not keep watching instead? Because coming up is our look into the transformation of Chris Tyson. I'll see you all next time. Bye. YouTube star and co-host Mr. Beast Chris Tyson has been making headlines since revealing he has begun hormone replacement therapy and reportedly transitioning from male to female. Now, the news not only shocked fans, but many are canceling Chris altogether because he's portrayed himself as a masculine family man, and now it appears that he's abandoning and betraying his wife and young son in the process. It's obviously a complicated situation, but we'll uncover what we know about Chris Tyson's transformation and backstory in this before and after. Chris Tyson, aka Mr. Beast's sidekick, has shared that he has begun what he calls life life-saving hormone replacement therapy a couple of months ago. The 26-year-old is being met with controversy due to the fact that he's a married man with a son and many believe that this is a betrayal to his family. TikTok is abound with opinions and news on the subject with creators spilling what they know about Chris's gender journey. Christopher Tyson, known as Chris to much of the internet, is a YouTube star who rose to fame as the co-host to Mr. Beast, appearing in most of the videos alongside Jimmy or Mr. Beast. Born in 1996, Chris has described himself in the past as a country boy, growing up as a boy scout, and apparently does the most work in their survival challenges. 
He grew up in North Carolina and still lives there today. Chris and Jamie created the channel in 2012 and since then Mr. Beast has grown to over 144 million subscribers. These days Chris is one of the only people that is consistently appearing on the channel and he's also the main host of the channel Beast React. Chris is also a big fan of cartoons, which means he can be quite childish and he's said to be the most vulgar of the group. But his wild antics have always kept things flowing well. In terms of his personal life, Chris has a wife, Katie Tyson, and in June 2020, they welcomed their son, Tucker, together. In November of the same year, Chris further came out to fans on his alt Twitter account as bisexual, which also came as a surprise to fans back then. Most recently, the internet is abuzz with Chris opening up about his gender identity after people speculating online about his new look. Chris claims he started life-saving hormone replacement therapy two months back and that his physical appearance appearance has already started to change following this. The 26-year-old spoke about HRT in response to a Twitter user who compared an old and new photo of Chris. And to this he said, HRT and it's only been two months. Hormone replacement therapy or HRT in Chris's case is feminizing hormone replacement therapy and this is when a doctor administers hormone medications to lessen male physical characteristics and increase female ones. People assigned male at birth are typically prescribed estrogen since it blocks testosterone and allows people to better align with their feminine gender identity. Chris also went on to post a link to a tweet from their alt Twitter account recounting how informed HRT helped save their life, saying, informed consent HRT saved mine and many others lives, replying to a tweet that claimed that conservatives are trying to erase the trans community. Chris continued, The hurdles GNC, gender non-conforming people, have to jump through to get life-saving, gender-affirming healthcare in a first-world country is wild to me. Just let people make informed decisions about their own bodies. Transitioning has many positive benefits, including alleviating gender dysphoria for 80% of individuals who undergo the changes, improving their sex lives and overall quality of life. However, introducing higher levels of sex hormones can have serious risks, including raising the risk of heart attacks, strokes, and blood clots. Chris has a lot of people talking as he was beginning to don a new look, including longer hair, dressing increasingly more feminine, as well as wearing some makeup and previously showing off his long painted nails. Kind of like these. <laughs> Chris revealed that they were originally hesitant about opening up about their journey, saying, I was super nervous to be public about this because I've always been so private when it comes to this, but seeing conversations started because of me is amazing. Now he said he struggled with gender dysmorphia for some years and was learning about it for a reported 21 years after discovering his sister's dresses and going through her closet. In fact, he claimed that becoming a parent to his two-year-old son, Tucker, actually helped with his decision to start the treatment. The YouTuber tweeted about this alongside a photo of him and his son. If I didn't have this little nugget, I'd never have gotten this far. He's taught me so much about myself in such a short time. I can't wait to learn through life together. The number of people who are transgender, as well as those who undergo surgery and hormone therapy to transition, has increased immensely in recent years, particularly in the US. Chris's reveal couldn't have been more timely since the US is currently plagued by an anti-LGBTQ plus legislation with a focus on trans and gender non-conforming individuals. In some states, they are even denying trans and non-gender conforming individuals from vital and gender affirming healthcare. In case you didn't know, gender affirming healthcare includes hormone replacement therapy and surgeries, while some also receive speech therapy, family therapy, counseling, puberty blockers, and things like hair removal. One accusation Chris experienced from those objecting to him undergoing gender affirming care said Tyson's child had lost a quote unquote father figure. In response, Chris wrote that their child Tucker is loved and happy and that the insult is just quote unquote more dog whistling that somehow trans and gender non-conforming folks aren't safe around kids and added I made this decision because I wanted to show up as my best 
and happiest self for him. Speaking of Chris's son, he also still has a wife, Katie Tyson, whom he married in June 2018 and is the mother of his child. This is a major reason why Chris is getting so-called cancelled, because he's maintained the image of a family man all these years and now appears to be betraying and abandoning Katie and Tucker. It's unclear what the pair's relationship status is after Chris announced his HRT treatment, but rumors are abound that they've separated. On Reddit, many are discussing and wondering if they're divorced since Chris never posts photos with Katie anymore. Neither does she. One user answered, claiming, They're together still and live in the same house, but Chris Chris is becoming more liberal and agnostic, while Katie is still a conservative Christian. I wouldn't be surprised if that's causing conflict between them. Yeah, that and a bunch of other things. However, neither Chris nor Katie have addressed any of the rumors. Katie is also an influencer over on Instagram and has an Amazon page where she promotes a range of products such as clothing dupes, household and kitchen items, home decor, and more. Over on her Instagram, she hasn't posted any photos with Chris since December 2021. In February 2023, Chris did comment on one of Katie's photos featuring their son, writing, Tucker's tail from your ponytail in the first picture is so cute. As mentioned, in the past, Chris also revealed that he's bisexual, and in April 2023, he reaffirmed his sexuality with a tweet saying, I'm 99.9% .9 sure I still like both genders, lol. Another rumor that fans have often created theories about is that Chris is dating his other co-host, Carl, from Mr. Beast. Fans of the show have coined the term the Carl effect because they believe Mr. Beast's team member, Carl Jacobs, has a negative effect on others in their group. Many also suspect that Carl and Chris spend a lot of time together and that could be a reason why Chris started dressing differently and much like Carl and that Chris and Katie might have grown apart due to this Carl effect. But there's no evidence to back up these claims. Either way, for now, that is all we know about Chris Tyson's gender identity journey and his transformation. So that's going to wrap up today's Before and After. But before we go, answer this question for me. Do any of you Mr. Beast fans out there believe in this so-called Carl effect? Let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications. My name's Kara the Vampire Slayer. Follow me on Instagram to chat more, and I'll see you all in another video. Bye!